Hello, how cool is this? Well, it doesn't seem cool to you, but let me explain. Here's the balcony, and then here, this is the balcony of my hotel. Tonight is the biggest night of my life because I'm seeing my husband perform. John Mayer. I seriously cannot stop thinking about it. I'm so excited. I flew from Boston to Las Vegas, met my significant other here. He is here for work right now. And I just met him at the hotel and we're gonna go walk around and we're gonna go get something to eat. And by the way, can we not judge my bare face right now? We're all sisters here, you know? We're the healthy honeys, so. This is me. The next day. Come back at you live the next day, barefaced. I have a confession. I really don't like wearing makeup. I feel so much better when I don't have makeup on my face. Like last night we went to the John Mayer concert, which, the John Mayer concert. And as we know, John Mayer's love of my life. And you would think I'd want to be all glam for him. But I felt so much better just being barefaced. And when I got home at 1 a.m., which by the way, I got up at 4 a.m. Eastern time yesterday, and then I went to bed at 1 a.m. Pacific time, so I was up for 24 hours yesterday. I do it for John. The fact that we got back to the hotel room and I didn't have to take off my makeup, honey. Okay, so let me recap what's going on here. You saw my bare face yesterday, and I had full intentions to vlog, and I did vlog, but something that I learned about Las Vegas is that there's never a dull moment here. It's never very quiet. So no matter where you are, there's background music, there's people screaming. And so this is what the vlog turned out to be. So what I'm learning about Las Vegas is that there's probably no chance that you can hear what I'm saying right now. You just can't hear me, but I still did videotape everything that I ate. Don't you worry. So. We walked to True Food Kitchen yesterday. I love True Food Kitchen. I had been once in San Diego. We were in San Diego in January for a wedding and we went there and I loved it. And so there was one in Vegas. So we walked down the strip just to see the strip and see the Bellagio fountains and Paris and all that good stuff. And then we got to True Food Kitchen and I got the poke bowl without any meat on it. So I left the tuna off. So if you ever see a poke bowl on a menu, you can absolutely order it just leave off the tuna or leave off the salmon whatever they put on it and then I added a side of leafy greens when I'm traveling one of the hardest things to do is to get in the vegetables because most vegetables that you find when you're traveling are laden with oil or butter and so a great hack is to order something like a rice bowl and then order another side of greens with it to make it into a nice big salad. And my significant other got the vegan cheeseburger. I was so proud. The John Mayer concert was at 8 p.m. so we needed to make sure that we ate before. We went to All You Can Eat Sushi and I got a few rounds of sushi. So the first thing that I ordered was on the left there you see a veggie roll and always be careful when you order veggie rolls because sometimes they will deep fry the veggies so ask if it's tempura or if the veggies are raw, you wanna make sure that the veggies are raw. And inside the veggie roll, there was cucumber, carrot, avocado, asparagus, and radish. And then I ordered a cucumber roll. And then I ordered a couple more cucumber rolls and a couple more. And then I finished it off with a cucumber roll, an avocado roll, and a daikon roll. And then I woke up this morning and had a great workout. I felt so spoiled because there's a gym here and I feel so spoiled whenever I'm in a gym because there are so many machines that I can use. So I started off with a run, I did a 5K and then I used, I did an arm workout. So I did 12 reps of each of the machines that you see here and I repeated it three times. And then I cooled it down with a two mile walk. And now we are going to head to the Grand Canyon, which I'm so excited about. I've never seen the Grand Canyon. I'm going to pick up something to eat for the ride. I don't feel any hunger yet. So I'm gonna pick up something so that when I feel hunger, I can respond to it appropriately with whole plant foods. Also very quickly, can I just talk about the John Mayer concert? I'm sorry, I have to. It was the best experience of my entire life. We got floor seats. Talk about a primary food, something that I talk about in the program with my clients. A lot of my clients, food is everything to them. Their weight loss, food, nutrition, it's all they think about all the time. And there aren't many other things in their life that bring them joy and that stimulate them and bring them emotional fulfillment. So we try to find those things together and we go on a search to find what is it that you're truly interested in that brings you joy and what can we focus on outside of food and weight loss? I'll, we'll take care of the food and weight loss thing, but we gotta have some other things in life that bring you excitement. 
John Mayer. What a primary food that man is. I like have goosebumps. I truly have goosebumps thinking about it. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that on my Instagram story, I had some of the footage from it. I can't put it in this vlog or else I'll get a copyright strike. That man, I truly, that was all I was thinking about the entire day was John Mayer. It was the best concert of my life. Can I build my own, please? Could I do romaine and quinoa? Could I please do edamame, cucumber, avocado, mushrooms, red cabbage? I'll do peppers. Oh, um, for a dressing. Let's see. Do you vinegars? Yes. Like we have red wine vinegar? We have red wine vinegar. Perfect. I'll do red wine vinegar, please. I am seriously dying. We need one of these in Boston. We need a chop stop in Boston. This thing is the size of my head. It's so healthy. There are so many options. If you are plant-based, if somebody else is not plant-based, you all can eat at this place. I am starting a petition. We need one of these in Boston. Let's do a little Whole Foods haul. When my significant other got it, I am so proud of him. He got two sandwiches, which really smell amazing. The vegan Mediterranean vegetable sandwich. Yes, I am proud. And the tempeh tomato avocado sandwich. Both of these are vegan. Just getting back into the car now. Come in. I'm just showing the things that you got because I'm so proud of you. And some granola bars and then for dessert, a blueberry vegan scone. As you can see, the Grand Canyon is behind me and it is absolutely breathtaking. It's so amazing to see it in real life. You know, you see it in textbooks when you're in school and to be here, it is just, it's mesmerizing. I feel like I'm on a movie set. I feel like I'm in Breaking Bad. We got here we didn't realize it was such a you know it's a it's a whole day thing so it took the whole Grand Canyon excursion was like an hour and a half we had dinner reservations in Phoenix slash Scottsdale which we are a hundred percent not going to make so we'll see what happens then So we finally reached our destination. It is 9.29. So we did not make our 7.30 dinner reservation, needless to say. And I just ordered some sushi, so I got some cucumber rolls and I'm gonna have that now. We are headed to Phoenix to see Dylan and Reeves from Your World. So we're stopping at Trader Joe's just to get some flowers to bring over and then we're gonna go for a hike. So we just met Dylan and Reeves and got a whole tour of the studio and the warehouse. If I'm sure you know Well Your World, get their products down below. I got some banana pancakes for the road and Dylan was so kind and he gave me this dehydrated, we all know Kathy Fisher straight up food. This is her bean and rice stew that he dehydrated and it's good for 25 years. So it was an awesome visit. Here's a photo of us and I'm excited to come back and, and stay with them more. But we are now going to go and get some brunch.
Brunch was amazing. I got the oatmeal with strawberries and my significant other didn't. Um, we went for a hike afterward, which was absolutely amazing. And now we're back at the hotel. I'm gonna go pick up some sushi. It's a few hours later. I'm gonna go pick up some sushi. We're gonna sit by the pool and read. I'm reading a book right now called Do Nothing. It's fantastic for people like me that are workaholics. If you're a workaholic, you should read this book. It's really fascinating. It talks about why it is that we are so obsessed. See, see, Sarah, I'm blogging. It talks about why we are so obsessed with productivity and efficiency and historically where that came from and how humans haven't always been this way. It was really since the industrial revolution that we became this way. But anyway, I'm gonna go pick up the sushi. We're gonna sit by the pool, read, and then we're gonna head to dinner later. The sushi has been acquired from the same place actually that I was at last night. Just got a bunch of cucumber rolls and they're really cheap. They're only $4 each. So loaded up on a bunch of them. And I'm gonna head back now. We're gonna sit by the pool and read. on Monday morning. I just went for my run. Now I'm gonna go walk and get some hot water so I can make some tea. It's a totally normal day for me, except for I'm three hours <laughs> behind. <laughs> it's so tough for me to say that. I hate being behind. But I learned that Arizona doesn't observe daylight savings. So we're actually on Pacific time right now. So it's a totally normal day for me. It's a Monday. Mondays are usually my busiest days. My significant other is off to, he's working at the moment. That's why we're even out here. He had to go to some places for work. So he's at his work thing right now. I have tons, I have calls all day. I have my Q&A today. And then we're gonna come together at the end of the day and get some dinner, so I'll, I'll see you then. Okay, so my Starbucks trip was unsuccessful. <laughs> I think that the location that I tried to go to has closed because it looks like it used to be a Starbucks, but there's nothing there, but that's fine. I got some steps in. I got, you know, a little walk-in and I'll just ask the hotel for some hot water and then I'm just gonna dig into calls with my clients. So I'll be booked up for the entire day until supper time, really. So I, I'll just check in then because I'll be very busy and my clients are my priority. So I'm gonna put the camera away and focus on them. We're on our way to dinner and... Okay, so we're going to this ramen pokey sushi place and I booked it because I wanted to get pokey, but now that I'm really good at making my own poke bowls, I feel like I don't even, I don't even need this place. Like I got this when it comes to poke bowls. So I might get sushi, I don't know, we'll see. Thank you. 